Well, hello, uh, I'm Dean, and welcome to another episode of Coding with the Agent. Um, we already have our friend the agent up, and we're also, I hit C, and we're in the code builder. And you can see that we've done a couple of projects, and we've done the chicken rain and the agent moves. And today we're going to take a look at the agent build. So we're going to start the tutorial, and we're going to see uh, what we can do to make this agent build. I'm really excited about uh, this project uh, because I can see a lot of potential in my classroom. I know like in a social class, I could get uh, students to maybe build things that are going to work with their agent civilization project that we're going to do, or in my workplace 20 class, maybe the students can uh, use their understanding of surface area or volume and get the agent to build things for that. So I see a lot of potential in the classroom for figuring out how to build with the agent. So as a tutorial uh, keeps on loading up here, um, I'm really enjoying this. I've learned a lot. It's cool. I've got some good feedback from the first couple of videos uh, that I made. So uh, I appreciate that. And hopefully, you know, I appreciate you being along for this learning journey. So you can see this is what we're going to try to get the agent to do. We're going to try to get him to build and uh, build shapes. Oh, hello, Cal. How are you? Welcome. <laughs> and uh, we're going to see how this uh, all works out. So again, we're going to be using the block coding. This program is called Make Code. And uh, again, we could look behind the underneath the hood and see the JavaScript behind it, but I really want to get used to that computational thinking and going that. So I think this is a good uh, way to do that. All right. So go to your agent Minecraft and we'll click them with blocks. Can not find your agent? Add a chat command. Okay, you can teleport him. Well, we'll do that. Right now he's right there. He's not hard to find, but I like that idea. So we're going to go into the block coding here and I'm going to put uh, TP for teleport and then uh, it's red. I like how it's color coded. I'm going to go into the agent here and teleport uh, agent to, tel uh, to player. So if I ever lose him, he'll come back and he'll find us. So that makes a lot of sense and that's cool. All right. The next thing it says, we're going to add a new chat command. All right. So I'm going to use chat command. This is what I need. And I'm going to grab the player and grab the chat command in. And then it says command PD for pen down. All right, so uh, pen down. And we're going to place and place an agent move block. Okay, so we're going to do this agent move. We, I think we did that from the last tutorial. We'll put that in and we'll see what okay so it's going to be dropping down blocks as it moves that makes sense so you can teleport him and we're going to be able to drop blocks as he moves add a chat command uh saying forward okay so we're going to go in here and grab another chat command okay and in this one we're going to talk to oops we're going to add that okay so it wants us to move the agent by three blocks okay so we'll go into here agent moves forward again got to make that click it's kind of cool like putting together a puzzle and then this one's going to be fd for forward and we're going to make them go three blocks and i realize when i look back here i got the same thing and i just want to make sure so i'm going to go back one and Agent move on. Agent place. See, I put the wrong code in here, so this is a good thing to know. I can take that out. I can right click on it and I can delete the block. I'm going to go back into this one. And when it says here, there we go. Agent place on move. I took the wrong code, so it's able to you know do a little debugging on the fly there. And then this one place on move. Okay, good. I didn't want to keep that in and. I want to go true. Okay, that doesn't really tell me that, but I think that's what it is. Again, it's part of the debugging uh, process. Uh, here, oh, look, there it goes. It shows us what we should do. So that's exactly what. Nice. A little, uh, little light bulb there showed me that. All right, so there's obvious things to learn and figure out. I love it. All right, so we're going to go into here. We did that one Raised by three. We're going to go to Minecraft and press T. Okay, one thing I haven't done yet, and I think I said at the beginning, I'm going to hit play here, and a T, and a K. So, enter PD, enter PD, then enter FD to get the agent to build the wall. 
Okay. Let me go into here. It's going to take the code out of here and it's going to program our friend. One thing I need to do here, and I don't have inventory yet, I'm going to go here and grab some blocks. I think what I need to do is give him some blocks or otherwise he has nothing going. So my, this is for my inventory. I'm in creative mode and I'm giving it to my agent friend. So he has something to do. All right. So if I remember correctly, I'm going to go and uh, put PD. All right. Actually, I should put T. I want to make sure that we're doing this right. Let's go slash. Oh, look. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, and Code Builder too. I did this when I hit the uh, slash button. And then I have my keyboard. Okay. So always learning something. Uh, so let's go uh, PD. Now, maybe I need to go and change it to the World Builder. So let's try that. It doesn't look like he's oops, doesn't look like he's doing anything quite yet. And that's good. I mean, that's what I don't mind with these videos is to show that sometimes you got to figure some things out and uh, see what happens. All right. So let's go PD. Okay. Uh, we'll this here without the slash and go PD. All right. So he didn't do anything yet. Okay. Um, let's try here and let's go FD. See if he moves. Oh, okay. So that did work. So I had to put it down. He knew to put down. He put the three blocks in and move them forward. Sweet. That makes sense to me. All right. Let's do a little bird's eye view there. Nice. Okay. Let's go back into the code. All right. And make sure you press enter after each shot command. So that's what I didn't do. So good. Okay. So let's go back and see what the next step is. Add another chat command block. So we're going to go into here. Gonna grab this, and that's kind of the neat thing about this block coding. Like, you know, you might want to organize it a little bit differently. One thing I can do too that I've found is I can increase this, so I can have a little bit more uh, space to do things. So rather than your code that you do before, it doesn't really matter which order you put that in. That I've, I've found so far. So I'm gonna put this one in, and I'm gonna add and build a square. Okay, by combining agent move and agent turn blocks. You can create a sequence of commands that agent will execute in order. Try to decompose different steps. Okay, so that goes back to our last lesson. Move or turn. Okay, so let's go and I'm going to need the agent. Right, and I'm going to need him to go I'll grab this. But now I'm going to get him to make sense to me. If he does that, I'm going to go left. Right, and I'm going to go three blocks. So the reason the jump I made here, I want to see if this is right. Is it going to show me? Oh, look at that. You could put it all in front of there. Good, good. So, okay. Yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Okay. That's a really useful thing is this little light bulb. Uh, if I go less, I can see more. Oh, that's nice. All right. And if I need this, I can grab this back and go on that. So let's do what they said then. Let's move forward. All right, and oh, they title the square. I noticed that. Okay, so we're in the square. We're moving forward. We're going to double check this by three. Okay, and then move turn agent left. All right, and then we're going to. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to duplicate. Ah, so I right clicked on that and duplicated. Because I want that. So then three. I'll duplicate this. Right. This should make sense to me. That's part of computational thinking. If I made a mistake, that's okay. I'm going to duplicate that. Put that in. Right. And I'm going to duplicate that. Put that in. I think I need one more side. So I'm going to duplicate that is in my code okay so let me double check with this does that look right yeah looks like i have that right but oh look at that this looks like i have to make a move left one more time i don't think i put that okay 
and we'll get him to turn left. Not sure why you would need that, but we'll we'll go with what they say there. And I'm going to turn left one more time. All right. So let's send that out to our friend, the code, the our agent. Um, oh, did we do this? I'm going to come over here a little bit and see that other, earlier. I think we tried to put the teleport. So I'm going to put teleport. Oh, so I'll just start a T. Maybe I don't need the slash. Oh, look at that. Boom. He's dead. Okay. So I don't need the slash. Hi, buddy. Okay. You ready? Are you excited about this? I know I am. All right. So let's put in T and let's type in square because that's what we named their little program. Now, I don't know if I have to put PD down, but we'll find it out. Okay. So square and there we go. Okay. So he would have did that, but Again, what I didn't do here, I got to make sure, did he have, yeah, he has blocks still. So I'm going to go and hit T, go PD, hit enter. And now I'm going to go T to open up that text box again there. And now I'm going to put down square and see if this code will work. Oh, beauty. Look at that. Now that's interesting that uh, he got stuck there. I like to debug that because he should pl place one more down. Now I wonder, okay, because I did what it said. I think we established that. So let's go back in the code. Now maybe he went forward three, but then he ran into the other um, one. So maybe if I just go forward two. Okay, I'm going to try two and see what happens on that. Okay. And again, this is what block coding and computational thinking is all about, right? Making mistakes, figuring things out, having successes, trials, and errors. So that's why I'm trying to do all of these in one take and, and see how it happens so you see what I see. So sometimes I'm happy I make mistakes because I'm not a pro at this, that's for sure. All right, so let's see. If I go and T, I'm going to put PD for put down. So it's going to put down a block. I gave him his blocks. So now he knows he, he engage with that then I want to type in go back to the text box and type in square and then let's see if you'll build a square and not get stuck no still stuck okay well it looks like on this okay let's try this I got an idea love this this, this is so much fun and I think kids get really involved in this too because you see Right away, instant uh, feedback, whether you got it right or not. And I think that's something that we all crave. I want to do this. So when I go left, I'm going to take this and I'm going to uh, duplicate. And I'm going to move forward by one. So that maybe will get him out of the squares. That's what I'm thinking on that. It doesn't show us that in here, right? It has all the three. So um let's try that and I, I only think i need two because he needs to put down two blocks there all right let's give it a shot a little debugging and let's figure this out all right so i'm gonna go t open up the text box see i'm learning already i'm gonna go uh tp and teleport my friend here here there you are awesome all right i'm gonna get out of your way buddy and then I'm going to go T and I'm going to put PD. So he's putting down, he's got his blocks. He's putting them down. Okay. That makes sense to me. And now I'm going to go T and I'm going to go square and let's see if he can complete the square. So he does that and oh, okay. Excellent. Yeah. Well, he's inside, but I could have, yeah, perfect. Well, I had to figure that out and debunk that a little bit, but it worked. So now when I look here, I can see that the code that was given, right? And actually, that was a good challenge, and I had to think a little bit about doing that. So I could have moved him right and got him out, but he's inside the box, and, and that's okay. that's cool. Okay, what else do we have to do here? Okay, that was off a lot. Oh, that was, okay, use the four to repeat the code. Oh, wow. Okay. So we're going to go into, we're going to do a loop and we're going to go 
Now I just want to see what that's going to look like. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. But I disagree with this because based on what we did before, I think that I'm going to get stuck. Right? That just makes sense for I equals zero. Okay. So, well, let's give this a shot. We're going to go and grab the loop. Right? And we're going to put it in. We're going to, I'm going to duplicate this. Oh, give me everything. Okay, that's all right. That's the cool thing about this block coding is that you can actually take pieces over. Should be able to anyways. There we go. I just want this piece out. Oh, everything's stuck in there. Okay, again. Oh, there. Just took that whole piece of code out. So let's put this code in there. Okay, and then if I take, it's going to bring it all. Oh, that's what I want. Oh, okay. I'm getting better. I'm going to remove those two and put these two pieces inside. And I'm going to call this square one. It's a little bit off of what it says, but I want to do that because this makes sense to me. Uh, and when we look back to, I think I want three. Okay. It's from zero to three. That change oh, the index. Okay, so let's put this zero to three, and I'm gonna go and play this and see what happens here. I'm coming out here. This and that should be good enough. Well, I'm getting some good at some squares. So now I'm gonna go T, and I want TP because I want to teleport my buddy to me. All right, so TP. Oops, I'm gonna click in the box. TP, hit enter, and there he is. Thank you. And now I'm going to go T and go PD. So he's going to place down. Then I'm going to go T. This time, though, I'm going to try square one. Oops. Square one. All right. Well, what are you doing, buddy? See him get back to that. But that was interesting with the loop. He made all the things. So it's going to see this for fun. So when it does that, I'm going to get him to, well, I'll do this. I'll just duplicate this, put this outside the loop, right? And then I will take this piece of code too, and I'm going to go and put that there. So some problem solving. So I think I will do that loop and then after all that code, but then to get him out of the box, Let's see what happens there. Okay, so wow, look at all these squares. Excellent. I love it. That is such a cool playground. It's nice to see how you're you know, the code that you're building, what's going on with it. All right, so T opens it up and I'm getting better at this already. I'm gonna TP and teleport my buddy here. And then I'm going to T it and put PD. That's gonna place down the blocks and he has lots of blocks still. So I'm gonna go like that. And then I'm going to hit T again. And this time I'm going to try square one because that's the one with the loop. And see what he does. Oh, I was in his way. Oh, look at that. I was in his way, so he couldn't do that. He won't hurt me. Oh, you're such a good little man. All right. <laughs> uh, let's go like this again. And I'm going to go T. Uh, and open this and go TP to get him to teleport. There he is. I'm going to back out. Sorry, buddy. I was in your way from your hard work before. And I'm going to go T again. And I'm going to go PD. And now let's try that again. I'm going to go T. And I'm going to type in square one. There, I'm not in his way. And interesting. He didn't place down that block like he did before. Is that something that was wrong with the code? Or... Side in the way. Okay, let's see. We got that. Hmm. Looks like he did it the first time if I looked at that. So we're going to code this. Look at how this is cool. Okay. I already some, see some curriculum uh, ideas that I can do with this. So I'm going to go T and go TP for teleport. 
I'm going to, hey buddy, get out of your way. And go T, and I'm going to go um, PD for place down. Uh, back up a little bit more. And then I'm going to hit T, and then I'm going to go um, square one. Weird. Oh, he just went back into this thing. It's like he turned around. Interesting, because when he made this, I was there and he didn't do it. Huh. Now, this is a good thing about coding. Let's try this. Let's get him out of it. Let's go uh, two. And I'm also, well, let's go one. But maybe I should get him to come out right. All right, so let's see what goes on with that. All right, so, and again, this is, uh, you know, once you get good at coding, this will take us no time at all. This this one here is taking us a little bit, but I'm hoping that you're starting to see that you just, I'm trying to give you the thought process about it too and learn it myself and see that uh, it's doable. Um, we could have stopped right off this stuff, but i uh, start, but, we're trying a couple of things and problem solving. That's what's so much fun about coding and, and doing that. And I have fun in this environment as well. So I'm going to go T and go PD again, place down. We did that code. And now I'm going to go T and type in square one. Wow. You went out of, hmm. Interesting. So he just got stuck in there. Okay. Oh. Let's, uh, oops, I shouldn't do that. Okay, now we're good. I'm going to try one last thing for this type of one. I'm going to see if, if I move them right. Let me go forward two. I just want to see if that will get him out. Or like, He seems to be stuck in there. So he's going, and I'm going to change this back to left. Okay. All right, so let's go play on that. And this is the last one <laughs> because this has been a long video. It's been a good video in my opinion, but um, let's go T and let's go, oops, let's go teleport. Thank you. And then let's go back to T and now we're going to PD. So he places down his blocks. And now we're going to go at T and we're going to try our square one. Back to square one. Perfect. He's coming around. Oh, he just went back and forth. So it's like he kind of got stuck in there. Oh, this is cool. All right. Wow. I wonder if you guys have any suggestions. I'm going to go here. I'll go like this. And because he's done all of that, it's interesting. If I put on the square, you can get out. He went left and then he went that. I wonder if he's trying to go back and do the loop. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe as he's getting stuck in there is because it's going back here. Um, I'm going to try something. I don't know. But now I'm starting to maybe in advanced. I wonder if I can just go like stop. Hmm. Does that have logic? Oops. But I think that have... I'm just wondering if he would move. Because I think he's... All right. Hmm. Well, maybe another video I'll come back to that. But maybe we'll figure it out by another tutorial. But it's pretty cool. And I'm going to go next here. Ouch. Oh, look at this. Excellent. That's what you do tutorials for. Ouch. The agent keeps getting the last block. Use agent detect. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Uh, that's excellent. Use the detect agent. So I was on the right track of looking at that. So let's go here. We go here and detect agent. Oh, there we go. Okay. So let's go back to here and take that piece of code out. Oh, good. Both of them came out. Okay, so I'm going to go use the tech agent, if else. Okay, how's that looking? 
So we have that. Oh, look at that. Okay, NFL. Sure. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Forward by one. Okay, we can switch that. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, agent move. So we got to go into the if else. So that's a logic one. If else. That's this guy here. Let's take this. Flop that down for now. All right. Uh, agent detect block. Okay, we need to put if. So we put that, look at the shape, that helps out a ton. So you can see that it's kind of a, uh, uh, what's that? Uh, heptic, no, hexagon. So put that hexagon inside there. Okay, so we have that. It doesn't matter that the code goes over on that. Um, so if then, and then we go back, and you want them to turn right, okay, and then move forward by one. So turn right. And okay, let's grab this. Grab this piece of code. All right. This is starting to make sense to me. I'm starting to learn a lot already by doing this. So I'm pretty happy about this. Oops, I think I have it a little high, right? Because you should be, oh no, forward by K1. Else turn that okay. So let's grab this, put it in. Oh, all right. So that's still square one. All right. Well, let's see if that uh, if that worked. Love it. And that's part of debugging and figuring things out. All right, buddy. Come on over here. We're gonna get, go here. And we're gonna go TP. All right, and thank you for coming here. And now we're going to go T and we're going to go PD because we want you to place down. And then we're going to go T and then we're going to go square one. Back to square one. Sure. There it goes. Wow. That's awesome. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> a little thing like that. And that's what coding can do for you. Look at all the fun we had, uh, mistakes and all. Um, and actually, yeah, I couldn't have planned that better <laughs> if I meant to. So you can see kind of all the work we did. You can see the coding that we did and some of the ciphering. The tutorial is good. Just follow it along. Uh, hey, yeah, we finished that one. Boom. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and we're leaving the tutorial and uh, again we can look at the javascript we could share that uh, we can do so many things but uh, we'll probably stop with this one and now this one was a little bit longer but I don't mind because I learned a lot and uh, hope you guys learned with me uh, I'd love to hear your feedback and uh, yeah thanks for uh, hanging out with me and where's our friendly agent? We should say goodbye to him. Oh, this is interesting. If you're left-handed, you can uh, flip things over too. So I like the, that. I'll even put my recording. So, oh, there. Oops, I'm bringing the code back in. There. That's a kind of a cool uh, little shot there. Oh. All right. <laughs> thanks for watching. It's been a blast. I uh, look forward to our next one. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.